Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of intestinal ascariasis. Around 8 years old child came to the emergency department with cramping abdominal pain. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here with high frequency linear transducer, you can see an echogenic tubular motile structure is noted within the intestinal lumen. You can see the peristaltic movement here. And also the hyperechogenic structure is moving. So this hyperechogenic structure is Ascaris lumbicoides. Well, this notorious structure was moving and my patient was crying with pain. So you still can see the movement of the structure. So these are multiple in number here and causing the cramping pain. These are small intestinal loops and you can see still these structures are moving here. They couldn't occlude the lumen, so the patient have not showed any feature of intestinal obstruction like distended fluid-filled bowel loops or tenga sign or any other features. Here's the picture of the scarce lumbicoides in longitudinal and transverse section. In transverse section, it forms a round shape and in longitudinal section, it appears as an ecogenic linear tubular structure. So these are live worms uh, within the small intestinal lumen. So again, the picture of these worms. So in summary, multiple tubular ecogenic motor structures are noted within the small intestinal lumen. Now the take-home message. In endemic as well as non-endemic areas, if a regular abdominal ultrasound with low frequency of a child complaining about the abdominal pain shows no definite organic abnormality, then do not end the examination without searching for the intestinal worms with high frequency linear transducer. You may get surprisingly moving charming or noodles within the intestinal loops. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.